Hello. So let's talk about a film score I recently did. Uh, so this is interesting because this is like, what do you do when you give someone exactly what they wanted and you weren't actually prepared? <laughs> I guess the answer is to, you should always be prepared. Um, but I'm going to talk you through this in reverse. Um, so this uh, score is for the film called Killer of Men. Uh, you can see it on Apple, Amazon, Netflix. It came out today. Um, you'll notice a few things. I didn't change the tempo. There's no click that would make any sense for this track, and everything is stereo two-track just for my live performance. Because uh, I got the film, and I was kind of like, oh, let's just throw some ideas out. Um, so I had my whole analog synth set up. Um, all of this was done with Eurorack um, and synths. So ARP 2600, Grandmother, Morphogene, Ensemble Oscillator. Morphogene is going through a monsoon, which is like a grain sampler. You'll hear me chopping up the bits. And then there's a CSL kind of droning along too. The uh, mandate was to write the you know Church of the Apocalypse. Uh, so that's what I did here. Samples of choirs played backwards. And, you know, I always kind of had that laugh back in the 80s and 90s, you know, politicians were saying, oh, or even before that, rock and roll records politicians were saying, oh, you play the record backwards and it says worship the devil. Um, so I thought it would be fun to kind of play a church choir backwards, and that would be our apocalypse choir. I did all of this live, and I sent it to the director, and he went, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> so then I had to recreate it. You know, I'll play you a little bit of the live, and then we'll kind of talk through it. Okay, so backwards choir. You can hear the grains. Just ad adjusting grain density and panning. So it's supposed to be this primal thing. If we go ahead a little bit, there is my ensemble oscillator standing in as a church organ. And I'm literally just turning things up and down at this point. I'm just, you know, most of my effort is on the morphogene moving the notes around, um, depending on the part of the tape loop. And then we're just folding. Uh, yeah. So that's distortion. Okay. Go forward a little bit. So this is so the scene is a killer is chasing his next victim. So just all ten all tension. Okay, here we enter ARP 2600. I literally just turned it up. running an arpeggio on a single note and I'm going to detune the oscillators. Okay, so going we're just going along. Okay, and then Moog grandmother bass. So chasing, chasing, chasing. We'll go forward. Sorry, I had to sneeze, so I cut. Okay, we'll go forward. OK, 
Okay, so that's the gist of the track. And the director loved it. And it was like, oh, I have to redo this, um, you know, sort of more of a professional mix. Uh, so a few things happened that helped me out. Um, number one, the edit of the movie changed. You know, I started the score here, but when we when they recut, the score actually doesn't start until a little later. Okay, so now you can see... Um, this is sort of the final studio version, which, you know, I kind of had to remove some stuff. We just, you know, made it better. Like every film score, it kind of goes through iterations. Uh, so this is where it's really important to know what you're doing with sound design. Um, cause you know, I think most people would have like a total panic trying to do this. I was like, Oh, I remember how I made all these, um, you know, the Arp 2600 was three oscillators and, it was the sample and hold assigned to the filter frequency, um, and then the, it was linked to the arpeggiator, so ev basically every note had a different filter frequency, um, and that's how you get these nice pulses. I'm doing is detuning the oscillator to make it have that you know rub then ensemble oscillator that was fairly straightforward it's like church organ just sort of holding a chord and we're going to automate its volume um, same thing we have a violin tape loop and a choir tape loop these are both morphogene and then mo grandmother um, so it became sort of this very straightforward thing i'll play how it came out in the end because that original version is pretty dirty sounding and this one's a lot cleaner and i think better it's a little more primal um sounds a little bit more like chase um, part of it's the mix is you know the arp is much louder so there's violin through the morphogene Choir through the morphogene. A few things to note. We have lots of reverb, um, Valhalla reverbs, and cinematic reverb from Liquid Sonics. Okay, starting to hear ensemble oscillator. This is our fake church organ. ARP 2600 comes in. So a little more primal in this mix, actually. Um, we're going to skip forward a little bit because it kind of like sits there while the chase is happening. And we just have some bass notes. So the base, uh, the Moog grandmother is being used to sort of emphasize different actions. And then what happens is we get sort of a tension break. Uh, so we'll get in and out of that. So 
you'll hear that's the ARP 2600 put through the morphogene and played backwards. And we're just going to have all this tension build up, all this tension. Okay, coming up on the end. is nice you kind of hear some finality to this version that wasn't in the original live performance it just kind of faded out because i couldn't turn off everything at once um so the lesson here don't be afraid to try stuff that's live and you're just reacting to the what you're seeing visually because um, sometimes you come up with something really good it's not the end of the world when you have to go back and recreate a live performance if you have been paying attention to what you're doing and then just there's so much stuff you can do with the morphogene if you you know really commit to experimenting with that um you know beautiful loops here scary stuff right there's there's so much happening here um, just to create the ending. It's just mostly morphogene. There's a little bit of the Moog. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do a bonus section. I'm going to go over another one of the cues after this. I'm going to link it below. Go see Killer of Men. Uh, it's a great film. A very interesting art film. And we'll uh, cut here and talk about the next one. All right. So this part is for you hardcore fans film music people um no particular reason i just wanted to show this cue because i was so proud of how it came out so this is kind of a pivotal point in the film where the main character has his revelation and his reckoning you'll notice it starts with that chase music um so what i'm trying to show here is like even if you paint yourself into a corner and do things live um you can still find your way out of it um, because I had to hire a live singer by the name of Ilana Goldberg, who was amazing to work with. I'll link her website below. So I knew where I had to end up. And so I just, you know, okay, we're landing here and I have to reverse engineer this. Um, so I played live up to this point here and then we transition into the other. And luckily this is, you know, all sort of the ambient chase music. So it doesn't need so much timing. Okay, so here's our normal stuff. Some hangover from the previous cue. go transitioning
Okay, so this was, you know, done almost entirely analog. Some things to learn from it you can do soft panning with voices to make them sound like a lot more um i had a really good friend say oh man the trio of singers is amazing (laughs) um this is a duo but something about the panning and just like the crazy reverb that's happening really like make it sound enormous the only digital stuff happening here is omnisphere um so i've got kind of a string synth happening and it's doubling ob6 um, so that's analog so there's our analog sound with the strings and i deliberately chose strings that are sort of reminiscent of string machines rather than string samples and i wanted this to try as best as possible to stay in the analog world. So I, you know, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, This is one of my favorite cues from that film. Um, And I'll link it below. Take care.